You're watching Photographing the World Japan behind the scenes. If you're interested in learning landscape photography, you can download the first lesson 100% for free right now at fstoppers.com slash store. So this is pretty nuts. Look at this. Biggest waterfall in Japan with a temple right in front of it. I guess the shot is up here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Nachi Falls. And yes, they built a beautiful Vermilion Pagoda right in front of the waterfall. I think historically Japanese people thought one day there'll be photographers and they're gonna need to capture this. So to those ancient people, I applaud you. This lesson was a pain in the ass. I think it took four days of filming for Elia to get the shot that he wanted, but nothing really interesting happened. We were literally just waiting for the perfect weather and it never came, so we just kept showing up again and again. Yeah, this is freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness. Don't worry, Isaac has steak coming. <laughs> Isaac hates all seafood, especially raw seafood, so he has been dying this trip, but we found this one random restaurant that was amazing. Best meal. Best meal I've had in, in Japan. Japan. Yeah, arigato. That was the best meal I have had in Japan. I, I got the fish and the steak. Oh, I love, I love the burn of wasabi. Ah, so good. All right, so now, we have to go pick up Elia. We're going back to the temple with the waterfall. And then tomorrow morning we are coming here and we're gonna shoot these rocks. Let's do it. Welcome to Nachi Falls again. I was actually here this morning. I think I got up here around 5.15. I just walked up, wasn't that bad headlamp, scared a bunch of deer away. But it was this spot that I came to, it was the one that I liked the most. And this morning, since the sky was completely clear, I decided to do a vertical composition. And it was so dark, I was doing some test exposures and there was a little bit of light on the pagoda, so I started doing some longer exposures to capture that. Transitioned into blue hour, those exposures got shorter and shorter and shorter. And with the sunrise position this time of year, it kind of lit up the pagoda first. So in the beginning, it was nice soft light. Within a few minutes, it just turned into blinding golden light and then it got really harsh. But it was kind of a neat sun position and it was a fun way to shoot. Although this lesson was probably my least favorite to shoot, the photo Elia got might actually be my favorite. And we added some more light. So we brought in the first rays of the sun, the second rays of the sun, and that previous blue hour we cleaned some stuff up, we threw in a sky, and then we decided to uh, get a little creative with the uh, scale here. So a little bit more in your face, cleaning up the color, light painting, and sharpening. So very quickly, we were able to go from this to this. So our super creepy hotel that had almost no guests had surprisingly incredible dinner service but of course it was like 99% seafood. So we just used the Google Translate app on the menu and I may currently be consuming whale tail. I used to be a vegetarian and now I am potentially eating whale. I think that is the farthest. The next step is like human. I have fallen, fallen very far. So I totally missed the last uh, course but they just keep coming and coming and coming. Isaac won't eat any of it. We're, we're in heaven though, because it's like, this looks amazing. <laughs> Isaac, have a bite for the people at home. Have a bite. Yeah. So Isaac is basically starving right now, and all he wants to eat is this piece of Wagyu beef, but we have to cook it, and they haven't, they haven't turned on our, our grills yet, so he's just waiting. And this is really cool. Yeah, it is really good, right? I was very excited to have the Wagyu, but honestly, I ate all <laughs> fish, which was like eight courses. So Isaac, my gift to you, 
and I'm going to eat my old vegetarian diet. After watching us eat for 45 minutes, Isaac got his first bite of food. That meal was the greatest meal I have ever had at a hotel, which is so strange because it doesn't feel like this hotel is that nice and like our room kind of smells like sewage. From this trip, I had the best lunch today and I had the best dinner of the entire trip in one day. So Japan has some of the craziest toilets on the earth. You've probably seen this stuff before. Everything's electronic. I mean, we can like open the toilet seat electronically. It's automatically heated. When I walk in, it lifts the lid. It like sprays smell out while you're using the bathroom. Of course, it's got the bidet and everything as well. Or they look like this. This video is sponsored by Click a Snap, which is a brand new social media platform. It's one part Instagram, one part Shutterstock, and one part Google AdSense all wrapped into one. The most unique element of Click a Snap is that you get paid up to $9 for every 1,000 views your images get, which is honestly much more than we get paid on YouTube. And if you want, you can choose to sell your photos on the platform as well. Unlike every other social media platform with Click a Snap, you don't have to give up your image rights. You don't have to figure out how to game some algorithm and there's no data harvesting or selling to third party entities. If you're a photographer looking for a new way to display your work while also making money, join Click a Snap in the link below. All right, we are back at these incredible rocks and uh, Alaya is here with us now. We have two and a half hours until sunset. It's also low tide in one hour from now. So I think we got lucky, it's just, so happens that the tide is matched up with the sunset and uh, we're gonna get a shot. Hey everyone, welcome to, I forget the name of these rocks. We are getting lucky once again sun's going down we're getting some awesome side light on the rocks but more importantly we are getting clouds behind these rocks so the time lapses look amazing Elias photos look amazing I just feel like everything in this project is going perfectly this never happens uh oh whoa <laughs> that's gonna be cool so this is amazing I really like these shots I think the half second exposure was perfect I just had a little bit of a, like a fall off drain from that ridge line. The only way I could have made this better is to capture that foreground the way I want it and then do a long exposure for the clouds in the background, but it's, it's done. It's done. I got pretty wet. These clouds keep getting better and better and better. I'm just running around shooting time lapses everywhere. And uh, oh my goodness, this, this place just looks so good. This is definitely one of those locations that the sky can make or break it. With a boring sky, it kind of looks like a relatively small rock, even though they're gigantic. It's just hard to tell the size of rocks in photos when you have nothing to compare them to. But when you have the epic sky like we do right now, everything looks amazing. So what I'm trying to do, and this is not an exact science, is I want to focus bracket but focus bracket for long exposure. So what I'm gonna do is shoot through everything at a 10 second exposure. The reason it's 10 seconds, I have a 10 stop on, I don't wanna change the settings too much, and I wanna be able to roll through this fairly quickly without moving the camera. So I'm gonna take a medium 10, and I'll take one or two more for the foreground, then I'm gonna do the two minutes. So I know this whole scene is covered, and then all I need to do is do the long one. Yeah, that's nice. Go here, 10 seconds. All right, officially, that was the most beautiful lesson we have shot so far. We got to shoot everything. So we shot like wide angle, we shot telephoto, we shot hard light, we shot backlit, we got drone shots. We got beauty shots of Elia walking, we got uh, shots of the camera with the crazy background, promo stuff, we got the lesson, he's happy with the photos. That's a cue to go. This tide's coming in quick. 
I think we got lucky and it just like the tide lined up with the sunset, which lined up with the storm behind the rocks. None of this was covered when we got here. Now it's 100% covered. If I load a curves and I use that with command M and I start to roll this back, you can see the first ones to blow out. I can still move it about 12 points, but those are gonna be the areas that kind of blow out. So what I wanna do is omit that from my adjustment. So we're gonna create a luminosity mask really quickly. And luminosity masks uh, sound more complicated than they are. It's basically using a color channel or a luminosity channel as a mask. Masks, white, shown, black, invisible. You can load the entire luminosity of an image by command or control clicking it, and you can turn it into a mask by pressing the mask button. And that's basically it. Now, obviously, I have the highlight selected, an invert command or control I will give me everything, but wait for it, the highlights. All right, I am excited for another dinner at this hotel, but I am sure it's going to be all seafood again, and Isaac is going to starve. Let's see what happens. All right, this is the first course. Isaac, what are you gonna eat? This. All right, have, a, have your one bite. Tell me if it's good. There's a piece of melon. A okay. antelope under there. All right, well, your dinner's over. Yeah, I'm I'll done. see you back up at the room. I'll go. So course number two here, Isaac can eat both <laughs> bread and soup. Yeah, so, I'm living my best life. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna starve, you guys. I actually am gonna try a scallop. All right, do it on camera. I have never had scallops before, and I've heard it's a very mild seafood. So they've brought Isaac a special meal for children. How happy are you that this just came out? I thought the next course was lobster. So thank God it is not. And you know what? Because I am a good friend. For oh, you. Tea. Would be great. Oh, yes. Yeah. Pretty hot. The next day, our food adventures continued. So, I don't know a lot of Japanese words, but I know one Japanese word, and it's coming up on this menu for lunch. He's gonna order the delicacy. It's a celebrated dish here in Japan. I should never. There's no way that that is translated. <laughs> you should look it up. I you should look it up. You I should do a Google search. I do not want my for the celebrated I my, delicacy. I do not want my internet history to even think about showing me that. Why is it called bukaki udon? And it's because it just means splash in Japanese. So we are just sick, sick individuals. Yeah, it's really us. So it looks like Aliyah ordered the splash. He, he got, he got the splash. He left some of the remnants. No, it's just slimy radish, I think. This is special type yeah, of Yeah, it looks just like radish. That's what it is. If you want to take your landscape photography to the next level, check out Photographing the World Japan at fstoppers.com slash store. If you buy the tutorial now, we'll throw in any other Photographing the World tutorial totally for free. And if you don't want to spend any money, you can download the first chapter 100% for free. Yeah.